I'm going to string this racket uh, using a one-piece uh, around the world pattern. Uh, this is a head tennis racket and what I'm going to be doing is going from the uh, outside main to the top cross. The outside main, let me see if I can point it out, is right here and the top cross is right here. So when the string comes up, it'll actually come up on this side. It'll come up over here and go straight to this top cross and I'll come across and tie off. If I measure the distance between these two grommet holes, the center of the grommet hole, uh, it come out to be 10.5 millimeters, I believe. And if I look at these grommets up here, they're actually 9 millimeters. Uh, actually, the distance between this, these two grommets right here, and these two grommets down here are about the same distance. Uh, once I get down here on the bottom, I'm going to go from the outside main to the bottom cross, but that's a pretty good distance, so it shouldn't create a problem. But anyway, I'm going to go on stringing. I'm using a 16 gauge polyester string here. If I can get it unwound. I'm going to start by running in my long side here because I don't have to measure it. This will just be whatever I've got left over. Then for my short side, I'm going to measure off uh, about five and a, or uh, let's just say six racket lengths because I'm using uh, a set of string. If I was using a, a measured section of string, I'd probably use about uh, five and a half racket lengths. So there's one. At this, at this point now, I'm going to use a starting clamp just to hold that string. I've just got it barely in the tip uh, while I untangle this wiry mess. Then I'm going to start it by putting a clothespin on the string just uh, to protect the grommet a little bit. And I'm going to put a starting clamp inside the frame. Now I can take this one off. Just to get all of the uh, long side up off the ground and make it more manageable, I'm going to pre-weave in my long side. By the way, the string is uh, uh, Gossin Poly Professional 16 gauge. All right, I've got my long side uh, all ran in, or all that I'm going to run in on the long side. I've got eight strings ran in on the long side. I'm going to string all the mains on the sh with the short side, and only eight mains with the long side. I'm going to pull tension on the first main on the long side. I'm going to clamp this with the clamp on my short side. And the reason I'm doing this is so my clamps won't uh, bump up together when they first come together. Get the string out of the way. And because my clamps aren't bumping up together, I can get my clamp as close to the frame as possible, except for the first two centered mains where they hit the supports at 6 and 12 o'clock. I'm running in three mains to begin with on the uh, short side, then I'll do my long side six mains. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to do the second main on the long side. Remove my starting clock and close pin. One thing about uh, pre-weaving all of the uh, mains on the long side is you end up with a string hanging down that could get tangled up. Uh, because of that, I normally run in three mains on the left, then six mains on the right, which is my long side. Then I'll finish up the left, and when I do it this way, I'm not really wrapping that string around the base of my stringer, so it doesn't tend to get tangled up as much. Right, now I'm going to do something a little bit funny here. I'm going to run in this uh, eighth main, and then I'm going to run in the ninth main before I pull tension. Then I'm going to take this string and go under this string on the outside here because I'll block my hole, and it just makes it easier to get it in there if it's already in there. Then I'll pull tension. Now when I pull the outside main, I want to make sure I don't pull the string out right here. And I'm going to pull tension on the ninth main on the long, excuse me, the short side. I'm going to release this clamp just to let my string straighten out. I'm going to clamp this string with the starting clamp. Now I can go on and finish up my long side. Except for the outside main. Now when I come down here, I'm going to go down to the second cross and start my crosses. When I start the crosses now, I can go over this string right here, or I can go under it. It doesn't really make any difference. I'm going to go over it. And I'm just weaving through here with my string. It's a little bit harder, or at least for me, it's a little bit harder to... weave a polyester string because it offers a little bit more uh, friction than a normal string does. Okay, I'm going to go on and tension this off right now. I'm going to release this clamp on the short side, excuse me, the, yeah, the long side, and then clamp this one. Uh, no particular reason for releasing that clamp on my transitions. It's just that uh, something I usually do anymore. Now I'm going to go on down the racket stringing. Because I've got an odd number of mains strung in here now, I went over this string. But when I go this way, I'll go under the first main. Again, I can weave it through there. But when I do, it's a little bit harder because of the resistance of the string. The 
You want to make sure this string here doesn't get hung up anywhere because if it does it'll pull that string out and it might make it a little bit more difficult to get through. All right, rather than weaving now, I'm going to show you another way to run the strings in. I'm going to pull out enough string to go across to all of these mains. Then I want to go over this first string, so I go over it and just push it down. Then I push up, push down, push up, push down, push up, down, up, down, up, down. All I'm doing is pushing the string up and down to go across those crosses. I don't have to weave it. If I weave the string through there, what's going to happen is there's a lot of friction that I have to overcome as I'm weaving it through there to pull that string across. Another thing, when you get down close to the bottom, a lot of times it's a lot easier for me to just take the tag end of the string and push it down under the string I want to go through and then up over the next one. My bottom hand is just pushing that string uh, back up to the top of the racket. And I'm using the string to actually pull it along. I'm not really pulling the string through the main strings. This also tends to get a lot less twisting in the string. Alright, I only need enough string to come across this way, go back this way, and then tie off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to measure it off and assume I need that much string to tie off with. I'm going to cut off this other string, which I don't need any longer. And I'm going to weave in my bottom two crosses. All right, now a lot of people are going to complain about this, but what I'm going to do now is I've got this clamp holding this outside main, and I'm just going to turn it up. Uh, you'd think that that clamp would destroy the paint job or mess up the paint job on the outside of the frame, but trust me, it hasn't done it yet. All right, now I'm going to tie off right here at the... Uh, eighth main, just like I normally would on a two-piece job. Now I need to take off this starting clamp. And I'm going to hold this outside main with my machine clamp and I can go on and weave this bottom cross in. You can see here I've got about an inch and a half between these two strings so I've got plenty of room. And I'm going to go on and weave this bottom cross in. And uh, because these two points have got strings that go on the outside from here to here and from here to here, I want to try to get this string either on top of both of those strings or below both of those strings. And it looks like having them on top is my best option. So I'm going to cut myself a little point here and I'm going to have that point angled up like this so it'll guide it to go up over the string. To make sure it stays that way, I'm going to pick up my pliers that fell on the floor and hold that string. I can tell because it's angled up that it went on top of the string. Now again I'm going to release this clamp before I clamp down on this clamp. Again I want this string to go 
in this grommet hole on top of the string that went from here to here. So now I'm going to angle it down. And I'm going to run in my outside main. I got a little bit more strain than I needed, so actually six racket lengths was a little bit too much for my short side. Then I'll finish up by running in my top cross. Strings getting a little bent up. tie off this top cross. Again I'm using a Parnell knot. I go over, under, and through OUT to form a small loop. Then I bring that tag end up between that larger loop that I just created and me. Okay? Then I'll normally use a starting clamp just to tension it up. I don't pull it very hard. I pull it uh, maybe with 10 pounds of force at the most. In the second loop I pull very very easy as a matter of fact. Then all I need to do is dismount the racket, straighten up my strings and I'm done. Hope that helped you. If you got any questions leave them in the comments.